Sophie. So today I am going to show you the products that I've used up over the past couple of months. Um, I have been kind of hoarding these product bottles in my room and now that the bucket's full I'm taking that as a sign that I need to make this video and get rid of these products because there's really no point in me hoarding them anymore. So I'm just gonna jump in and show you them. But first I actually wanted to show you my nails. Um, <laughs> I'll show you this hand, it looks a little better. Um, so the Wolverine movie came out yesterday, so I was like, I'm gonna put my nails to honor him. And this is my first nail art design, so please <laughs> feel free to laugh, but don't, don't be too harsh on me. Um, that's his face, his mask, like his eyes, and then those scars um, on my pointer and pinky are what are on like the body of his uniform, and I just did polka drop polka dots, polka jets, um, because I knew that by the time I did all of those, I would just be swearing, and I would just want to do something simple, but even then, I couldn't even do a polka dot, like, look at those two double dots, I don't know, but I like them, it's my first nail art design, so I was like, you know what, it's not gonna be perfect, so screw it, Wolverine don't care about the, like, that frilly type of stuff, so yeah, um, that was a lot of energy, I'm gonna go see the movie tonight, though, and I'm just super stoked. First product I see is my Kinky Carolina Today Natural Leave-In Detangler. And it looks like this. And you, I don't know if you actually ended up buying this. But, um, you know what it smells like. You know how cute the, um, packaging is. And it's just great. It has, like, like no ingredients in it. It's, um, cruelty-free, vegan, um, mostly organic ingredients. And it's just... So good! I repurchased this, um, and I'm already like halfway through the bottle again, but what I do with this is, um, after I condition my hair and I wash most of the conditioner out, I will put, um, about like a quarter size amount of this on my wet hair, and I do like a final just like quick rinse, not like trying to wash it out, and then like, then I'll get out of the shower and then I'll like style my hair, um, as I normally do. And this stuff is great. Um, I have to do that because my hair is too fine. And if I use this as like a regular like leave-in when I get out of the shower and like I don't rinse it out, um, I notice that my hair like it just gets too weighed down. So um, yes, it helps to keep my curls nice and soft and frizz-free, and I love it. And this stuff is just amazing. The next product that I have is the oil free acne rash pink light for frowning scrub from Neutrogena and this stuff I got the exfoliator um this stuff was nice it smells nice and grapefruity um as the packaging suggests and um yeah I didn't mind it I didn't repurchase it just because I wanted to try other things um I just kind of go nuts with face washes um and plus it was just a little too harsh on my dry skin. It was a little too clarifying. I might repurchase it later, but um, yeah. I don't know. It was nice. Just a little too harsh for me. The uh, next thing that I have is this just nail polish. Equate nourishing nail polish remover. I used it up, so I was like, I'm just gonna just gonna throw it in there. Nothing special. It's a nail polish remover. <laughs> you just kind of go into the store and buy the cheapest one, so I think that's what I did here. Um, I did repurchase it. Um, I just bought another nail polish. I was buying one get one free at Rite Aid the other day, so um, nothing special about that, but hey, I used it up, so why not put it in this video? Next is the 3D White Multi Care Whitening Rinse Glamorous White Alcohol Free Rinse from the makers of White Strips. And this stuff is amazing. Oh my gosh. I bought this when I was with you at Target and um, as it suggests you use about like, I don't know, 15 milliliters, I don't know. You, I just like fill up the cap a little bit and use it twice a day and you do a 60 second rinse. So I did that, exactly those instructions with this and it whitened my teeth and I used this up within like a week or two. And um, this is amazing. I ended up repurchasing it in a different flavor and I don't follow it um, as strictly. Um, like I don't do it twice a day or anything anymore. I just wanted to do that for an initial 
like an initial the whitening. Um, but this stuff is amazing. I obviously repurchased it. Um, it definitely whitened my teeth and it made me feel so much better. And I love it. Okay, I showed the this one. I showed this shampoo in my last like products I've used up video. Um, and so that means I definitely repurchased it. It is the organic shampoos. Um, so I got the Nutritional Asahi Berry Avocado Shampoo, and then Rejuvenating Cherry Blossom Ginseng Shampoo, and the best part about these shampoos are the smells. The smells are amazing. <sighs> They're just so fruity and fun, and I just love them. Um, they are like probably $7 at the drugstore, so they're kind of expensive, but um, you know, if you want a good sulfate-free drugstore shampoo, go for it. Um, I didn't repurchase these. Like, these are the last two organic shampoos I bought. And now I'm using the Aubrey Organics, um, shampoo. And that, it's in green tea. It's amazing. And I really like it a lot better than these. Like, that shampoo says clarifying on it. And that's, like, not even, like, a stripping of oils as this is. Like, these will strip your hair. Um, so you have to use a conditioner with these, but they're not bad for like, if you want, like I said, a good sulfate free drugstore shampoo, just go for it. Why not? And the very last thing is something that I purchased with you and it is the Co-Rehab Moisturizing Hair Treatment. Um, I bought this the last time I was in New York at Ricky's. And I, like, cried when I saw it. I was just like, I've always wanted to try that. And for good reason. This is in the scent, um, strawberry ice cream. Um, it's amazing. It, it smells like I want to eat it, and I know I shouldn't eat it, so I have definitely avoided that, of course. But, um, this stuff is amazing. Um, I put it, like, I would use it, like, once a week, and I put it on just like from here down on the length of my hair and I would leave it in for at least five minutes but since it was so expensive I made sure to like use it longer and for good reason it's just it's so amazing it just softens your hair it smells good and it just really it's just a really fun product um, you and like I like how it comes in this because like deep conditioners are really thick and I don't really like the squeeze bottles for them so it's nice to kind of just like dig it out because you could definitely get all of it out like I certainly did so um, I didn't repurchase this just because this is like $18 already so if I was gonna buy it offline I'd have to do like shipping and everything so um I'm using like a Giovanni deep conditioner right now but I would most certainly repurchase this because this stuff is just oh it's so awesome it's amazing and I could talk about it all day like I'm doing right now I hope you enjoyed this video um I have fun making it and I will see you later cheese